Okay. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Awesome. Good evening, and welcome to Artist Talk on Art, Monday, June 12th, 2023. I'm Doug Shear, president of ATOA. We're now completing the spring semester in our 49th year. Founded in 1974, ATOA is the art world's longest running and preeminent aesthetic forum. Our archive resides at Archives of American Art of the Smithsonian, and this month, we will add to our collection there, bringing our archive to more than a thousand recorded events, featuring over 8,500 artists. This event tonight on the Inspiration Art Group International is being recorded in Zoom and is copyrighted by Artist Talk on Art. Comments made by our presenters do not necessarily reflect those of Artist Talk on Art. Join us in the fall. Consult our website for details of our fall programs that are slated to begin on October 2nd. That's a Monday. The, uh, the event tonight was organized and moderated by Alyssa Pritzker. The recording that we're making tonight will be posted to the Artist Talk on Art YouTube channel in just a few days. And it will be included in the latest group that is going to uh, Smithsonian. Um, please reserve your questions and comments until later in the presentation and use the chat function, which you'll find uh, at the bottom of your Zoom screen. And Alyssa will select uh, comments or questions from it. Let me tell you a little bit about Alyssa Pritzker. She exhibited at MoMA, Queens Museum, Skirball Museum, Jerusalem, the Dorsky Museum, which is in my neighborhood, Esperanceda, Barcelona, K Salon, Berlin, Germany, Rockefeller Center, New York City, the United Nations, the Iceland Biennale, Arts Westchester in large and small group exhibits. And among her solo exhibits, her art was shown at HV MOCA, formerly the HVCCA Museum, Hammond Museum, Saleta Kinzica Art Gallery in Pisa, Italy, Casa Argentina in Jerusalem, Franklin 54 Gallery in New York City, Wired Gallery, which is in the Hudson Valley, Galleria Arta by Arta, Luz and Alfonso Castillo Foundation, Buenos Aires, Argentina, and the Mohonk Mountain House. Throughout her career, she has been the recipient of various awards and grants. Recently, she received the 2020 NIFA NISCA Keep New York City Creating Project, the 2022 Creation Grant from the National Endowment of Arts of Argentina, and the 2023 Ulster County Cares II Award Three of her art catalogs, Selk, Nam, and Tandem, are available at Amazon. The catalogs are in the permanent library collection of Ca Castanino Museum and Mamba, uh, both in Buenos Aires, um, in, the, the, in the Buenos Aires Museum of Art. Pritzker was featured in media publications, radio and TV, such as PBS Channel, CNN in Spanish, Huff Post, the Huffington Post, Chronogram Magazine, Hyper Allergic, Radio Kingston, Radio Vassar College, and her ec Eclectica store was showcased in the New York Times. In 2024, she is presenting a two-person exhibition with Christian Dalgard at Art at the Center at the Castagnino Museum, both in Argentina. And now I turn things over to the capable hands of Alyssa Pritzker. <laughs> Thank you so much, Doug. I That's a long, long uh, bio, but I not, appreciate Not long it. enough, not long but, enough. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's my deep, deep pleasure to be with a group of women that I love so much and I respect 
eh, Viviana Juan Matais, and Mimi Gramiski, and well, I will say Viviana eh, is the founder of the Inspirational Group International, and she will introduce, I don't want to talk too much, she will introduce the rest of the panelists. And I will ask Viviana to tell us how the group, the Inspiration Art Group Inter International was created. So Viviana, can you introduce yourself and the panelists this evening? Yes. Hi, I'm Viviana Juan Matais. I'm an artist, curator, and the founder of Inspiration Art Group International. I co-founded this Inspiration Art Group International with Kei ya Yamamoto. And you want to wave, say hello to people? Yes. And under the GHC Foundation and Fire One Foundation. And we started doing this last year. We launched it on March 1st last year. So we're very new and we know this is much needed um, function to, to be able to get artists from all over the world locally, you know, and all genders, all different type of artists to come together. We mainly host things um, virtually on our website, Inspiration Art Group International. But last year we did have seven physical exhibit and, and, um, and we have 130 members as now. And we also have an essay section that Frank Mata is writing about, I think is a portrait of artists. And we have um, four physical and gallery exhibit last year and three virtual exhibit. And our virtual exhibit, I would think in my turn, I think it's like a, a, it's a magazine on, on website magazine. It's a magazine, virtual magazine that is running all the time and you get to see all the different type of artists work and music and all the stuff. And we also have five virtual workshops and programs. And we also have three weekly, monthly virtual program. And we also have a, a lot of collections that I started off a long time ago when I was um, friends with some of the member here that uh, I call them the founding member, like Tilly Strauss. And I actually found a group called Art Women at Work. I believe that's what, 15 years ago? 2008. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we gathered women, we, we meet in each other's studio and found that you know partnership and then i think kindly this inspiration arc of international kind of grow out of that and since then we have a collection of artwork that people donated for us and we believe so strongly that women artists are so underrepresented and have the virtual and in, in the art world so we are doing very hard try right, to provide that. So Viviana, eh, I want to say that I know you for a long time and I have admiration for your um, gratitude for your activities as a curator and a, you are a great artist and photographer and also eh, you, curate, you were the curator for the Hammond Museum and also Last year, like you said, you created an exhibit that's had some Bali Mocha. So you have a long trajectory as an artist and as a curator. And I really, but besides that, all your resume and biography, you have a big heart. So, and you are helping many, many artists. That is why I wanted to introduce the Inspiration Art Group International to this in this platform, the ATOA, that I also love so much. And I want to introduce Mimi Graminski. Mimi, do you use uh, your 
full last name or just me, me gram can you tell a little bit about you and also I know you for a long time too and we exhibit it together and other things yeah. so uh, do you use Mimi Graminski or you use either is fine either is fine Mimi Chaika Graminski is kind of a lot of words so um so it's it's often simpler to just say Mimi Graminski <laughs> thank you okay. so much Lisa. thank you yes uh, if you, can you tell a, a couple of highlights of your career I mean I know that you are a very accomplished artist so for me just to long go long with her, your resume is too <laughs> it's too much, but uh, can you tell us, I mean, a, a few of your uh, highlights and then mm -hmm. how you feel about this group, the international art group, and then we'll go to Tilly and, you know, we'll continue with the panelists. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, well, first of all, I just wanted to say a, a big thank you to you, Elisa, for, um, for having our group on ATOA and also a big thank you to Doug Shear. Um, it's really a pleasure to be a part of this um, a part of this long-standing forum that is so respected and such a wonderful venue for artists to come together and to talk about their work. Thank you both, and thank you to Bibiana also for um, for founding Inspiration Art Group and for doing so much for so many artists. Um, I just can't say enough about about her and the work that she's done to bring so much of our work to light. Um, my work has been shown um, throughout uh, the region. I live in the Hudson Valley of New York State. Um, I've had several solo shows in this area. I currently have um, two drawings in um, the Odetta Gallery in Berlin, um, in an associated gallery in Berlin. And um, I have a solo show coming up in Hudson, New York in the, in the summer. And uh, just just a couple things just to mention. So um, great. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I know that you're super active. It's di difficult to follow your career, but I'm always there. I'm always, you know, sharing with you. But how do you feel about this group? I mean, the, the inspiration art group, what is, you know, your take on it? Well, this group has been really a wonderful place to uh, especially as it was founded last year when we were still very heavily in the pandemic. It's been really a wonderful place to come together uh, as a community of artists. And that's one of the things that Bibiana has really um, helped to create is this really wonderful connectivity and camaraderie between artists with all the different events that she has on Tuesdays. There is an open forum, open studio where you can join in and from your own studio and just have a, a conversation with other artists as you're working, no matter what you're doing, whether it's cooking or painting or whatever. Um, so I think that's just one of the many ways that she has created this um, organization that has just really filled a void um, in terms of uh, helping, helping us come together. Uh, that's great. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, and I'm part of the group, so I'm familiar, but you are kind of the core. I mean, I'm like less active than this group of great panelists that they are today with, with ATOA and with me. So coming to Tilly, I want everybody to, to have a chance to, to participate. How are you, Tilly? Can you tell your name and a bit what you do for the group? And how do you feel also about uh, the uh, Inspirational Group International? Hi, thank you. Um, I'm Tilly Strauss, and I'm a Hudson Valley artist. I live on a farm in Dutchess County. It was my grandfather's farm. And I come from a family of artists and writers and curators. And, um, and I've always wanted to, and I've been a teacher for 26 years, high school mostly. And I've wanted to demystify a lot of art um, um, for people. And that's kind of what's driving my my um, practice right now. But the group, um, we started, I mean, Bibiana is somebody who like gets things. She's one of those people, you know, you give her and you just mention something. She says, well, why don't we do it? Let's do it. You know, it's just like a quick in your, and you can think of a, re a thousand reasons why not to do it, but she's just like goes for it. And I remember years ago, um, 
with the first the art women at work, I was talking to her about my frustration. I wanted um, to, I needed a, I, I think it's very important to have a group of people, a group of other artists to bounce your work off of and um, support you because we have different, um, we have different needs and, and ways of looking at the world. And it, it, it just, it's nice to find your tribe. I had asked these guys, these artists that I knew about, I said, you know, wouldn't it be great to get an art group together? And they were like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I found out later they had an art group and I was so mad about it. I was like, oh my gosh. And I told Bibiana, she goes, make a list right now. We'll meet, I think it was in the basement and we'll, and we just invited the women that we admired, you know, in the, that in the neighborhood reaching out and sent letters out. And now she's started this group and no matter what you say to her, like, well, wouldn't it be nice to, it's like, boom, we're going to do it. Like a residency. And she's like able to find a residency in Puerto Rico, you know, and a bunch of artists just recently went down there and did work. And it's just, it's just support. It's such great support for us. What, as what, Tilly, what you are telling us is that a, it's a, it's a group that is proactive. It's not a group that it has like a head and the programs come from the top. Everybody could participate or have ideas. That is an important for artists that we are free spirits. I think that it's very good to have the opportunity to, to share ideas and to bounce ideas with Viviana. And I know that she's a doer, but it's good that you are telling that. Yeah. So... <laughs> So Tilly, we'll go back to you and I want to introduce the last panelist. No, the, no it's last, but it's not, <laughs> that's in order, only that. Corey, can yes. you, you know, introduce yourself and, and tell us a bit about you and also how do you feel about uh, the group? We'll continue. This is just the beginning, okay? Sure. Um, I'm an artist, an art teacher and a speaker and I will, I have, a, I have artwork uh, in Hastings. I have artwork, the coming up exhibit there. I have artwork in Greenwich and I've always had artwork with Bibiana's uh, incredible exhibits. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think my work was hanging next to yours, Alyssa, at MOCA. Oh, okay. I had the silver point drawings. Oh, so, yes, I love those. So yes. my career, yeah, I started with botanical art. And I spent 25 years doing strictly traditional uh, French and uh, detailed, detailed, detailed watercolors. And I decided somewhere around 15 years ago, I was getting too tight, too regimented, and I just needed to be more expressive and went from watercolor to oil. And right. it was such an easy transition because one of the things that I really love about art is the science and knowing the pigments in all of the materials I use. So it was very easy to transition. I knew my colors, it was easy to be able to switch from one to the other, but I still paint my oil paintings as a watercolorist. Oh, I wow. glaze thin layers over and over, single pigments, transparent, mm -hmm. and your eye does this optical mixing dance. Well, so, that's a great description, Corey. That's sort of, oh, thank you. But that's sort of me. But what I have found the most inspirational thing I had ever done um, that changed my whole practice was joining, being asked to join Inspirational Art Group. The inspiration and the support, the knowledge and the willingness, the generosity of all of the artists that I have had any contact with has been a gift, truly a gift. Uh, the Tuesday afternoons, I know a lot of the artists can't make it, but the Tuesday afternoons, we just log on. We're in the studio. You could be sitting and listening. You could be gessoing. You could be running thoughts by. It could be a meditation. There is such an interaction and such a com camaraderie as women and artists that, well, that <clears throat> just yeah. produces magic. 
Well, you are inspired me. Corey, can you tell your full name just for, yeah. for the audience? I mean, the, the participants and our colleagues, because most of them are colleagues. Yeah, tell us your full name. So my name is Corinne uh, Lappin hyphen Cohen. Okay. And okay. that's how it Funny. appears on my artwork. But okay. everyone knows me as Corey. So. Yeah, I, I also talk to you as but Corey. It does it, get confusing. You have, a, you have a great smile. It's difficult not to be <laughs> inspirational with you. So, uh, you know, uh, you said something that uh, I believe that is a new time for the arts. We are individuals, we are, we want to succeed individually, but I think that gratitude and camaraderie is the new time because the internet and it, it, it's more democratic, is more flat in a way than the previous times of the art that it was more like the figure that succeeded by itself. And you are saying something very important and I want to mention that, I mean, they all go to, I mean, they, we are living in different layers, but one of the layers is gratitude yes. and, and also camaraderie and helping each other. It's a very important concept that I want to say, you know, as a moderator. Just yes, to... and you know, Alyssa, um, the, the concept, the layering of Zoom and working alone in our studios, that also is, well, as artists, we work alone, but then there was the pandemic and we were further isolated. And all of a sudden there was Zoom. And now we can be together, we can exchange ideas, and we can learn things that we never knew, meet people that really layer your understanding, layer material. I mean, one woman that was remarkable, I see she's here in Nancy. Now, Bibiana introduced me to her as a collage curator layerist. And she convinced me to join this other group that is also a, a Zoom group. And it, it's kind of because of Bibiana's networking and encouraging the outreach that there is just no sense of a secret that we can't Yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. So uh, do you have, a, I'm asking all of you, all the panelists, do you have a specific role? Viviana is the founder and co-founder. She already told the, you know, told us about that. But do you have any specific role or just you are a member? I'm asking every one of you. Well, I mean, really, Mimi, what um, is your role? <laughs> well, I, I have been doing, I have been working a lot on the social media on Instagram and Facebook, and I'm going to take this opportunity to ask all the members to please um, get involved with our Instagram and Facebook okay. um, sites. Um, but that's kind of what I've been um, helping out with. And I also, um, Bibiana and I, and I are in close touch and we um, collaborate on several different projects. And I'm just, I just try to kind of help boost and support her in yeah. many ways. And That's the number one request that every member gets involved, follow and and just comment and you know we all benefit it's a benefit is beneficial for everyone. Mm -hmm. So that's great. And what about Tilly and uh, you know uh, yeah I'm doing I do a monthly um talk on the, for the artists on inspiration um about um, hidden histories of women artists in the past that I'm trying to bring to light. And um, mm -hmm. that's that's been really fun and wonderful. Um, I should do more, Elisa, Elisa really. Mm -hmm. Well, I will share that for, for everyone. Yes, that, now all, is the, the, excuse me, Viviana, now is the time that I was going to ask how people be uh, join the group and what do you do? So now is the right time. You oh, okay. <laughs> we'll start with Tilly. This is a group by artists and it's for artists. We like artists to get involved. Whatever you put in, you'll get out of it. Whatever you want, I will make a platform for you to do so. 
like Tilly, is interesting about the woman artist in the past. So I said, well, we could do this. We have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so every, every month, she will present an artist. And this coming out June 28th is her. You want to say her name, Tilly? I couldn't uh, Kathy Colwitz. Yes. Kathy. And, then, and then you just come in here on our website and see this button. You click on that or you click on that at six o'clock on June 28th, you will see that program. And then you could see our previous program that she do, and you can connect to that to our website. And we have an incredible, incredible, um, I'm very proud of our website, it is also done by an artist called Mary Smith from Annapolis, Maryland. She created this website for us. And I guess right away, tell her we have a diverse group of artists and we have all this department that you can go into and we have a artist page and you don't have to be asked. You can just join. We're open to everybody. And, and then if you see the lines of this and you can just click on it. And, and by the way, artists are looking at this program, please send in your um your profile see so, this is not one of a new artist from Puerto Rico you get a whole page of okay. your work that is shown be going back can you go back to the to the first page of the website yes because I know that it, it's very clear and easy people can What's the name of the website, the complete name for people? Inspiration Art Group International. Yes, but the website is, tell me the exact Okay, inspirationartgroup.org. Okay, inspirationartgroup.org. Okay, right. just for people to, to look at the, the website and to find the website. I'm just seeing, before you go down to the programs, I'm seeing that you have the artists, that you show that are profiles you have in other words that yes is that's uh that's uh, describe uh, each of the each of the sections so we okay so this is in in the other words is a wonderful essay written by frank matthias about uh, about each artist or about essay and that uh, he i think he paint a portrait of artists rather than review the art he actually bring out the artist he paint the artist portrait in words we have many many you know many many article on there that you can go in and read see about different people and and I think, believe there's one about you too in there, Elizabeth. Uh, so I think there's one about Elizabeth. You can, es you can skip that, but thank you. Yeah. I, 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 I love Frank's writer, you know. Right, writer. yes. So, yeah. we, so we have writing, we even have writing, you know, just about, you know, run about midnight with, with Paul K. So all kinds of things. So okay. we have essay. And... And then we have, this is the art woman at work. This is, you know, from 15 years. We, we tell about our history. And here is all kind of poster of the exhibit that I have curated for the art woman at work. We did a hundred women artists that celebrate the anniversary of women's sausage. And we actually, we actually have like 103 artists in that show in up. Yeah. So we have a long history. And we also um, have a collections that artists donate to us or I purchase and now is in the collection. And we have mm -hmm. Art for Peace is a Tuesday open studio that originally founded by Barbara Fisher an art uh, educational um, art therapist. And, and then just been great with me every Tuesday. That is great. So, yes. and what, it, that's, that's yeah, the last and, one. Uh, 
portfolio yeah. presentation series I'm, I'm seeing. What is that portfolio presentation? Portfolio presentation is all, every other month we ask our artists to come and present their portfolio, wherever particular portfolio they want to. And we, we broadcast that on YouTube. See, this okay. one would turn you into that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so and that's, I yeah. And so that's all our portfolio series. And let's see what else we have. We have lots well, of. Stuff. I want to say that besides all of that, you do visits like to the Metropolitan. You go. Yes. That's, uh, that's under our culture trip. Yeah. Things we have culture trip. We went just few last week, we went to the cloister and we go all over the place. <laughs> and we go and to- only, And also you have a, the Puerto Rican, you went yes. over the first- Yes, we, we did our first artist residency in Puerto Rico this year. And I'm planning to do another one next year. So so talking we, about <clears throat> yes sorry yes finish sorry no go ahead yeah no so, i'm just saying uh, so you, what are the programs that you have currently i mean besides all of these that are going on already what are the well uh, um i guess what means because since we do we have virtual exhibit we have lot of virtual exhibit that is showing and right now on our website we have this one, here's to hers and hairs. And we have Rosalind's palm reflection video. We have address Earth Liquid Blue virtual exhibit by Karen LaFave with music by Nancy Tucker. And we have Marriages of May. And each one of those exhibits you can clip in and you can see, we can watch the opening that always hosts by Poa Go. And you can see each one of those exhibit and you can click on that and they go big and you can read about them and you can share all the things, you know? And that one's yeah, happened to be I, I can see, I don't know how you keep up with all of this. That's what well, I see. It's a, it's a 24 <laughs> seven job for me. And, I, and I the biggest that. thing we, we have is the physical gallery is the, is the address earth show. And yeah, the address earth- To, to ask I, about I, uh, the upcoming exhibit that it will be address earth. Yes, we have one, come. this is our last year's and which you can see the pictures of all this. And then you can go to our call for art. It will tell you all this exhibit that we are planning to do. And like this one is gonna open in October. Again, this year we're gonna be happily and so honored to show in Hudson Valley Mocha again. That's Hudson Valley Museum of Contemporary Art. And we showed there last year, and we're pulling the proposal together for a sculpture show for next year in October, um, April to October in the Learnhurst Estate. And we're also planning uh, and also accepting the, you know, submission for our September virtual exhibit, wow. a day with soft September breeze. Wow, what a great opportunity. So artists, that wants to join, they just go to the website and go uh, to the yeah, contact here, button. <laughs> yeah, uh, here you go to join us, join and support. And here tell you how you can join. You can become a member or you can, you know, appreciate anything you can share. And even, you know, your talent, your volunteer will welcome all that. We, we need people, we need artists, you know, to build this community, everybody, you know, have a role to make this. And that's why it's so important for me to do the Address Earth Art Expo. And because, you know, like you say, we're all individual and I'm known for building maggot exhibit because I believe that all our voices 
together is stronger than one voice. Definitely. So before we go, uh, you know, to the Q and A with our great audience today, um, I would like to, you know, before we go, like each panelist to express their sentiment while well, we have already Corey express it and to express the sentiment or any other comments that I forgot to ask or, you know, if if you have any words or any comments. Yes, Tilly. Well, I just want to say, I, I think I saw a question in the chat about how to um, the, how to participate in a residency. And we're just getting started on that one. But at one point, 17 years ago, the women were talking about that they didn't have, they couldn't necessarily get away, but you had to, you know, what you, what you needed to actually be able to focus on your work. And that's where we're coming from. And we were actually able at that point to pick somebody and they had a week and all of us brought meals to them and they could put in the freezer, whatever, whatever their family size was, we created, you know, we did all that. So they, for that week, they didn't have to do that kind of thing. Or if they needed help with some sort of shopping or laundry or stuff like that, we were doing that for them. So they could have their week in the studio. It doesn't take much to do a residency. You can do one at home if you have support of your friends, you know? <laughs> what a great idea. So Tilly, uh, if you want to help me with the comments, you know, on the chat, because I know how yes. brilliant you are for these <laughs> tasks. So yeah. maybe you can see other questions or comments. You can help me with that. So I pay attention to other things, maybe questions. Or can you help me with that? Can you come? Yes, on yes. <laughs> but I, I know that this Puerto Rican one was just a, a test case, right, Viviana? It was a. No, a it was successful. I know it was successful. And, yeah, I was got invited to to apply for this residency in France, and I don't even you have you know it's 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 wonderful to get applied to ask to get applied for. Then I say, well, we have this organization. That's what we do. I would just do it, and then I call on my good friend Rita. You know, if you know, what do you think? We come here to a residency, and they have a farm. She welcome us. All in, and we did an incredible residency. So I hope continue with different, in. and that's one nice thing about the Inspiration Art Group International. We have connection to artists all over the world, in Finland, in Iceland, in Taiwan, in Japan, you know, in South Africa, in Morocco, Turkey. I mean, all kinds of places we can just go any way we want to. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and I don't know, just beginning. It's just beginning, you know. That is the perfect spirit of what this group is about. Oh, well, we can just go anywhere we want to. Where should we go? <laughs> Bibiana yeah. is like this magnet, and things happen. It's just this wonderful, wonderful spirit that we all sort of gravitate to and appreciate. And Kay also has that same, you just appear places, Kay, and you're just there and it's all quietly done. And it's just like the elves come in and did it, you know, <laughs> it's wonderful. And oh, I can give you a really quick example of what Tuesday afternoons are like. Um, I used to work botanicals. They're pretty small. If you got to 22 by 30, that was a huge painting. So when I started the oils, one of the women uh, said to me, oh, I think, how big is that? Because it was on screen sharing. And I said, oh, 24 by 30. It just, oh, I thought it was huge. And my reaction was in my head, it was huge. The vision was huge but it translated onto this smaller canvas. And she says, oh, you've got to work big. And the next thing I knew, I was saying, well, I don't have it stretched. I can't get going. Oh, take it to a framer, let them stretch it. And then the next woman chimed in and says, oh, just staple the canvas on the wall and work. Before Tuesday afternoon was over, the canvas was stapled to the wall and Jessup. That's great. And that's Thank how you. the... Great of the group. And I have a year and a half later, I'm working what three feet by five feet, 
<laughs> all abstract oil and then other funky things where um it wherever it has taken me but it's the it's the inspiration from this creative energized group of women wow i, I just <clears throat> Thank you, Corey. This is you are like your smile is just in, as I said, inspiring all, all of us. I have to ask you, Viviana, just for the participants and the is the group only for women? Just to I want you to clarify that. No, no, the group is not only for women. <laughs> I do have a lot of men members and we welcome men to join us. My husband is one of the men. Yes, okay. and I do yeah, good to know. Yes. Yes. Well, it's also and, because... on, yeah, on Tuesday afternoon, it's mostly women that chime in, but we'll welcome anybody to come in. Okay, okay. Just wanted to, just because uh, I invited, you know, the group and we are, you are four women panelists. I wanted to clarify that for, for the participants. And I, let's see, uh, yes, any questions, Tilly, thank you. Uh, we'll open up now the last 15 minutes for questions. Uh, any questions that you can put it on the chat or I, you know, maybe you can just turn off your muted microphone and and just uh, ask. How would you, hello again. Do you, see, do you, think Viviana, I, you have, a, I, have a, uh, I have a question. Yes. Oh, Latroy, hi, haven't seen you for so long. <laughs> She's one of my favorite artists. She moved to the Chicago area. Okay, let's go Thanks. with Doug. Let's give him the, the privilege do you, do, here. Do you think that uh, women make different kind of art? That is to say, is there a distinct female sensibility that pervades all or many uh, artworks made by women? Or is that not the case? What do you think? You know, I think everybody make art like they have. Everybody have their own unique a way of expressing and their artwork. And I I totally honor all that. Yeah, I well, think I, I, I happen to believe that too, but I'm just wondering what, whether the individual artists uh, in in a group like yours, which is heavily female, maybe not entirely, but it, you know. Uh, and there are other groups like that. It, New York Artist Circle is also significantly female. Maybe, I don't know, I'm going to get in trouble by saying 95%, but you know, most, most of the members are female. Uh, whether there's any, uh, because looking at the art world today compared to when we started ATOA 49 years ago, um, it was very difficult then for women to be shown anywhere it was challenging yes, it, is. Uh, it, was, it it may still be it's certainly not yes. the same though. Uh, we are changing that we are changing right. that right. for sure right i mean one of the big differences today is that there are, there are many uh women working within museums you know many more than there were in curatorial jobs in in management jobs and directors posts etc and the collections in museums are, ex, you know, greatly expanded in representation of female artists. Um, but when I look at the art, and so my perspective, I look at the art, mostly, <coughs> I, I, if I didn't know the name of the artist, if I had no idea if it was male or female, I would say it's very difficult to tell the difference. Sweet. Okay, very yeah. difficult. Um, which you know which is really very yes, interesting like, if, if you look at the the website and you look at the list of the artists and you click on all the links the mm -hmm. diversity is amazing yeah you can't you can't pinpoint any um anything but i think some women will be definitely more focused on their gender issues or whatever and just like men are sometimes on their gender issues but then everybody has their story wait a minute men have gender issues <laughs> who knew? <laughs> yeah. So, um, what do you what do you think, Mimi, about uh, Doug's question about uh, you know? Well, I, I think Bibi's answer was was interesting. It's like everyone is an individual, um, and I and I think that Tilly mentioned that you know you look at our 
our artist members and you can see that it's it's really varied. Um, but of course, the Gorilla Girls say that to get into the Museum of Modern Art, you need to be naked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that, a woman, a woman to get into the Museum of Modern Art, um, yeah. I believe is the quote. But um, yeah. Yeah, no, I appreciate that question, Doug. I think it's really interesting, and I think it's I think it's a, a, a constantly changing situation um, mm -hmm. for artists, both men and women. Um, as as our world keeps changing at such a rapid pace. Right. I mean, clearly, I, I want to I weigh in. Clearly, if uh, just to add to this, clearly, if if you saw a an exhibition and it said men only, mm -hmm. uh, it, everybody would be outraged, including most men. Fortunately. So, so but, why? Uh, what about yeah. women only? I mean, that's also it's equally offensive. Well, there are galleries that, that are doing that. For example, Pinkwater in Kingston, where I have shown in the past, uh, you know, uh, is only showing women now, which is interesting. And it's it's even in the Hudson Valley, it's a rarity. I don't think I don't know of another institution. Do you know, Alyssa, that is only showing women? But no, it's, it's, you it know, used to March, be it used to be that only on March, because it's Women's Month. <laughs> and women get to have a show. Oh yeah, and, okay. and I'm so happy to see uh -huh. now there's more, more and more women's exhibit. Well, not just in March. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I have just, to. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. No, I'm saying that uh, Mimi say the uh, the way that I think that we are in a transition time, and we are changing and rapidly, like she said. So. At this point, it's difficult to to make a statement that is like a fixed statement. I think that uh, you know we have to see how things are evolving. That's what you I mean think. about you mean about the group itself. No, I'm so I'm saying about men and women. Oh, men and women. Yes. Uh, you mean things are changing? Yes, yeah. I think so. Compared, <laughs> yes, yeah, they are. So I think so. Oh, so the power is within every individually and, and changing things, not only in the arts, but in general, I think. Um, Elisa, there is a question. There's another question. Yes, yes, that's what I wanted. Yes, really good. I was <laughs> reading that uh, you mentioned you need people to help with different aspects. What are the needs so we can match our abilities with your needs? So, can you tell us, Viviana, what you need and what the group needs? Well, um, well, wherever you like to contribute, we would, you know, greatly appreciate it. So you are reverting the 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 answer. Like, if you have an ability, just well, um, to the group. It, yeah. Well, it. I guess that's how I carry it too. I put, you know, I when I carry, I, I found a space and asked the artists what you want to do in this space, and they do things rather than pick it. So I create this inspiration art group international is also for artists. What you like to see happen in this group, what you like to see activity in this group. And if you have idea and help me get that started. And all the time, usually say I started, but right now I am totally full of what I can do as one person. So anybody could help. Any with any, you know, share your talent, share your knowledge, you know, share your skill, and and also participate. I will translate uh, what you are saying the way that I see it. You say that if somebody has an idea, it has to be part of the execution. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be nice. Yeah, if if don't, that's fine too. I, I you know, but it's it's nice, you know. Definitely. Well, that was a great answer. We have some a quick, quick question. Do any of you live on the west side or the Hudson River? The west side. The group. We. I think that you have it from a, many there, areas, right? There are um, a lot of members from New Jersey. Right? Yeah. yeah. We, we have all of the United States and also in different parts of the world, too. Just and I'm going to chime in and say yeah. say hi to everybody. This is Babs Rengold, and I just wanted to thank hi. 
Hey, how are you? And she's so, down in Florida. And I was just gonna say, I'm not, I'm in Florida. I'm not, I'm not up north and I have participated. I'm part of this group. So I just yeah. wanted to say hi and what a this was such a wonderful thing that you're doing, uh, Elisa, and bringing Bibiana and the group here. It's so great to see everybody speaking. So um well, but it's that you have virtually. an open voice and, and participating. So I'm I'm glad that you say hi to all of us. It's great to see you, not only hear your voice from time to time over the phone. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was just thinking about how it really is true about Bibiana just gets things going and get it done, but that it's it's nice that everybody participates and um and pulls things together. And, and then I come to find out I had a visit, which was really wonderful, from Mimi, who came, was in Florida. And we got to meet and have a studio visit. So it was a lot of fun. So it's also a, a nice group where if somebody's traveling someplace else in the United States and there's another member there. So that's really a, a, a wonderful thing as well. And, what another world when you travel to a different part. There's art or have artists. And yeah. we usually have our opening on Saturday morning. So we can hit a lot of country that be able to artists can attend and to join. Except Hawaii, always get left out because you can't, including. So I think today, a lot of our members here are mostly from East Coast and West Coast and, and Mid-West. So we don't have people from another country. Although, let me check. Although we do have an artist from Taiwan say she might join in. It will be, you know, Tuesday morning for her now. I, I don't know yeah. if she's in here or not. Yeah, so, people from Europe could not do it because they're sleeping right now. They're sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we have, we have a Reba Winston is saying hello and she had to run, but uh, she wants to say hello to all of us. So any other questions or comments that uh, we have only a few minutes? I just want to make one comment about the women, the difference between women art and uh, what the, the thing that Doug had started. And uh, I too liked uh, Bibiana's answer. I, I find it difficult myself to, to distinguish anymore who has done what. Uh, I mean, every once in a while, it's a very distinctive uh, hand that might be uh, a delicate I don't I don't even know what what I would even call it that's the difference between a man and a woman and uh that that feels like it's a, a, a almost an old old thing to be discussing in a in sort of a way because I really truly can't tell anymore when you walk into an exhibition uh who has done what and um I, it's just it's it but on the other hand sometimes you do get the sense certain artists you're so familiar with their work uh they're well known and you wonder if it's it at that point is it that you recognize the work because they're so well known and is it distinctly female uh or is it male i i i, I don't know I really what about what about scale or the choice of materials, the choice of you know components? I don't think that matters. I mean, uh -huh. I think I don't, I don't think that matters either. But I want to just chime in and say I've been doing a lot of research on um, artists through history, and I've got to say that it's ink. It's how much do you have written about your work, and there's a big difference between who's writing about the amount of writing about male art versus the amount of people who are um who are getting females who are getting coverage on their stuff and that makes a big difference in history that's one thing well we are changing that that's what i was saying we are kind of a uh, turning the page and i'm doing writing a new history i think in the 21st century that's my so hope everybody everybody needs a publicist regardless of gender and and one thing that you could be doing Viviana is fostering a a publicity function i'm I, you're obviously already doing it to some degree no but we definitely need pr expert to come in here but having frank matthias write his articles which and he's a a, a 
very well-known music critic too uh -huh. um, is really helpful and really rich yeah he's a very he writes really well mm -hmm. uh, it's a delight to read the the essays really it's it's not a conventional write-up it's very it's a deep write-up and it's it's they are very interesting to to learn about different artists from the group so any well as i said we have just two or three minutes and i know that doug well like, let me make, let me make this very clear you don't have to stop in 60 minutes so well, if you feel like you're running out of steam that's your prerogative no but, i'm just saying but if you I'm, wish to go most of these events go 90 minutes so you certainly could go more if you wish okay well i i thought that we had like you know to end at certain you know time but it, that's why i was asking if you want to add anything else the, the panelists something that i forgot to ask or any personal comment you know yes yeah i i just want to say we would welcome um anyone who is good with pr anyone who's yes. good with um social media um i'm doing it now but i am doing learning as I go. So I'm happy to get help from anyone who is able to to help out with that. Somebody who might know about TikTok or, um, you know, just we're open to that possibility of of help in that in that regard. Um, and as Bibiana said, um, you know, what what is your strength? You know, what is what are you good at? Um, that might be something that that could add to the group. So just want to point that out. That's great. Yeah, and also <laughs> someone can write grants. We're one year old now, so we're algebra to to pursue grant, you know, so and and most of our member people are involved are virtual visual artists. So like Tilly say, the ink part is very, very important. So we'll welcome other writer if that could help on that aspect. That would be great. Yeah, okay, that's Sounds yeah. like a plan. So uh, talking about uh, PR, Viviana, can you tell again, uh, you know, the name of the website and it's just to join, people can contact through the website and, and talk to you or whoever is in charge of answering? Well, yeah, they just join it in. You send to our webmaster and me when they come in. And it's the inspirationartgroup.org. Okay. Okay, perfect. And we're, yes. We're a five and we, we thank you for ATOA and make this possible. And you, Elisa Prisca, for hosting this. And and then let, you know, that's why we're only one year old. So this is good to spray water around. That. You have a, a question if you are a, a five zero one C five zero one C. Yes, we are five zero one C. Thanks to Kate Yakmoto there, and JHC Foundation stand for joy, hope, and creativity, and that's why we are fasting. You are so let me, by... let me jump. Let me yeah. jump in here, uh, and use this as an as a moment to thank the Inspiration Art Group International for this very interesting and different panel discussion uh, with Viviana Huang Matthias. Matthias, yeah. Founder, artist, curator, Mimi Graminski, multimedia artist, Corey Lappin-Cohen, artist, and Tilly Strauss, artist, and moderated uh, by Alyssa Pritzker, visual artist, independent curator, columnist, and woman who keeps promising to invite me over to her house. <laughs> uh, and our thanks also to our programming director, Mir Miriam Deutsch, and her coordinators, Therese Chen and Pranima Anand, as well as the entire programming committee, our board, our advisors, numerous volunteers and interns. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, and before I wish you good night, let me just say October 2nd, we resume after we take a much needed break. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next fall. And next year, our 50th anniversary, we've got some very interesting things planned, which we'll be telling you about.
So good night and thank you for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you you for inviting us. Yes. Thank you. Thank Thank you, you. guys. It was so great to see everyone. Thank you. Okay. Great to see you all. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. It was great. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.